Hey all, this is Houston again, and today I'm going to have a look at Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime, one of the toys that I got on Auto Assembly 2012. And well, let's have a look at him. Uh, on the uh, first hand, I'll have to admit I modified my Prime. Uh, frankly put, I've went to town with him on uh, paint like adding red, blue over the black, some silver detailing just to add a bit more of the details that he had in game uh, did nothing on the wheels but I've seen others who went with a very fine line of adding the red detail to there with the material I had I couldn't do that uh, some of the paint has already worn off and that's completely the fault of this toy because he's way too fun to play with uh, all the wear of the paint yeah it's because this guy is often on my desk is often being played with just driven around transformed a lot handled a lot because I like this toy it's a fun toy to play with and as such yeah he gets handled a lot so the paint rubs off still I think upgrading the paint with just those few minor details a few silver spots that red that blue completely enhances him uh, if you want to know which kind it's in principle Gundam marker metallic blue Gundam marker metallic red and Gundam marker metallic silver quite simple uh, yeah it's a compact little car which pretty much looks like hit with uh, well drive to pre uh, true people uh, and wouldn't stop at all and actually I like that design uh, there are people who find this way too boxy way too far apart from what his original looks were I am really not going to care I love it and I think that's frankly put one of the most important things to keep in mind uh, with this figure how you like this is quite a personal case of personal taste uh, the opinions of this toy vary so much but all in all it's generally aesthetics versus can you live with the fact that times change and uh, that plastic is more expensive and such things I'll be honest I want this guy bigger yeah you heard me I want this pretty simple toy which it is yet it isn't I want this in Voyager or leader size no difference in transformation just bigger same for the uh, war for Cybertron one I've seen uh, leader class uh, knockoff of that one I really want to get a hold of that one because that would make that toy way better uh, I got uh, the deluxe one because I also got it at auto assembly and frankly put I hate that toy but that, uh, that is for another review for now let's have a look at his transformation because it's quite simple you unhook the back there are some tabs holding him together fold out the legs and fold down the feet they click into place so those feel quite secure despite being on extra joints you can put them like this yeah you can have a bit of a jaw walk version uh, eh, I don't really care for it uh, it's not a plane for his arms pull these off from each other there are packs tabbing in the arms once that is loose press these up which reveals the head fold this tab back click it into place fold the arms around unhook the bumper oops this way around straighten out the arm and rotate around the fist and finally the smokestacks go back once again And here we have him transformed. 
quite fast, quite simple, but it's actually an enjoyable transformation. Uh, other than uh, the bumper parts, which don't really lock in, don't really have a set place to go, other than that, he is incredibly fun to transform. And that is a really good thing, because some Transformers, especially since Movieverse, have been so overly complex that they were not fun to transform. And that's one thing where this toy is quite good at. It's a fun transformation. And what more does really matter in such a toy? Uh, Frank, but that's also a thing. I look at this as a toy, not, a, not as a collector's piece, because it isn't. It's a fun toy to play with. Uh, people who saw me at Auto Assembly probably uh, would have seen me tote this thing around all the time. Have it at uh, during the evenings, just have it on uh, on the table, just fiddling with it. Because this thing is fun, I couldn't put it down. And I still have trouble with that at times. Uh, this is my desk mate, and he gets played with a lot. Now he comes with a gun. I forgot to put it on in vehicle mode, but yeah, you just plug it in like this, and I really don't care for it. <laughs> I don't like the looks of that. Uh, the vehicle mode looks way more like it's supposed to go melee instead of with uh, ranged. So, but his gun pegs into the hand, kinda uh, fibbing the idea that it's uh, transformed over the hand. I like the idea, also the fact that it's pretty much a G1 gun homage, also like that. I like it at least better than some of the other designs for the guns that were in the game, but yeah, that's personal preference. Now as to uh, this guy in this form, yeah, once again, personal preference all around, the chest, the way he looks. still. Adding some extra paint details does help him out. I could have made these tires in the back black, but due to the fact that he has those wheels on his arms, it uh, doesn't really feel right to do that. Uh, I'd rather pretend it's just other technical details than purely in-game accurateness. Still, it's nice that they actually included it. Now, uh, articulation. That's one of these things where this guy is also quite adequate at. His head, side to side, not so much. Rotates freely around, just the full way. You know, I actually don't really care if a head can turn around completely, uh, even if it's a robot. I prefer to go with how far can it manage to uh, equal human articulation. How far can it mimic what your body can do? The closer it gets to that, the more happy I am. And this guy comes reasonably in that direction. Uh, due to his uh, rear joint, he can look completely up. So if you want to pose him flying, even though does not completely make sense, you can do so. The shoulders are on a ball joint, which is extended, so you have quite some uh, range in uh, side to side, up and down. Now, in this position, the shoulders cannot go up quite far. If you point them forward and try to go out, yeah, that's way more limited, unfortunately. Still, you can work with it and give him quite decent poses with your arms. There's a swivel just below due to transformation, but uh, that gives some good motion as well. Due to transformation, once again, you have a joint uh, in the elbow, and that elbow joint is quite good because, well, you can pretty much nearly touch his shoulder. Uh, even if you don't have the gun in hand, yeah, it can go quite far, uh, which I like. Uh, of course, wrist rotation, also due to transformation. Actually, I quite like it the way that pretty much every joint is just enhanced by the transformation itself. Uh, I really dig that. The waist, it rotates quite freely, can go all the way around. Once again, doesn't really matter to me because, well, <laughs> unless you're a robot, you're not going to do that anyway. 
you can have a bit of a backwards crunch, but not really forward crunch. Uh, not going to whine on that. The hips, quite excellent. Ball joints, which allow for pretty much a full split if you want, which is quite nice. Or, perceptor kick! Yeah, I had to do that. The tie swivel, quite nice. And once again, due to transformation, pretty much a 180 on black, which is quite nice. The feet, their own ball joints, forward, goes a bit better than this way. Side to side, slight movement, so he can take somewhat of a wider stance, but not as wide uh, as some figures can. Still, all in all, nothing to really complain about. It works, it works actually pretty fine, uh, it looks dynamic, uh, li unlike some figures, this guy, when you fiddle just a bit with him, he looks in motion, he looks active, uh, there is energy in this mold. Whatever you do with him, he looks good, in my opinion. But then, then again, it's personal preference, and my personal preference is all over this guy. Um, let's, for the final part, let's bring in some comparisons. First of all, his oldest predecessor. Uh, yeah, the War Within design. Titanium. <laughs> Luckily, this is one of the better toys in the Titanium line, with pretty much the weakest points being, well, these joints. But otherwise, actually a decent mold altogether. Just looking good. Uh, pretty decent paint apps. Don't really care for the smudging that's been pre-applied to this one. But, you know, side to side. Yeah, there is some comparable aesthetics, but not too much. This is from an older era. And let's bring in the one who's in between. The War for Cybertron one. And frankly put, I hate that one. Uh... He looks nice. And for Uncle Boot, I want him in leader size. Really big. So, this horrendous puzzle is fun to do. At this size, he's no fun. And that's my biggest complaint. This guy should have been the Voyager that he was originally intended to be. Then the complexity would have made a lot more sense. And he would have been that much more imposing. And yeah, you see, he's bigger. But if I can put, if I put these three together, how badly do you notice that he is so much smaller? <laughs> I don't see it. Uh, anyway, this was Shusep having a look at a fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime. I thank you all for watching, and see you next time.